appreciate that. Join there, obviously with the boat in tow, but the problem I've got now, if I grab the camera, is I'm a bit close to this bank here. I'm about to fall in. I've just got to power forward now and hope that the boat follows me through all right and doesn't end up whacking into this wall here. So anyway, Elijah's gonna move back and we'll keep going. As you can see, might as well film the intro now. We're here at Ledge Point, our favorite spot. It's been about a year since Elijah and I have been back here to do this. So we're gonna beach launch in the morning. That's gonna be this video, the purpose of it. We're fishing tomorrow. But we like camping further down the beach where we're heading now. So we tow the boat with us down to there, get a better camping spot. So we'll hang out tonight, keep it short and sharp for that. Get through to there with this, and then we'll drive back up in the morning and wear the line. Let's go. Just pulled up at our camp spot. We're pretty happy with this one. So we've parked the D Max up there. We got the breeze coming in this way. Boat there, we'll set the awning up, and that, that way anyone driving past through here will be blocked out from view. Then in the morning, we'll just get up and drive on out of here. That's the spot. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Elmira, no, 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 no. Jeez. That was a bit keen. Now how are you gonna get up here, huh? Yeah? What do you reckon the spot, Lidge? Not, not bad. Okay guys, so after all of that, I think Elijah got a bit of that on film, that commotion over there trying to get the dogs back up the limestone wall. Guthix has torn my shirt off, so that's why I'm now running rigless but it's warm enough for it anyway what we're going to do now is i'll set the camera up and we're going to get the time lapse going and we're going to set camp up here then we're going to chill out and enjoy the night enjoy some food and just kick back roll the swags yeah drink a few beers have a good time as mates with the dogs as well i want to make you work but all i do is make you worse the truth is a damn hard pill to swallow How are you feeling about the new purchase, Lidge? Good. Good, Good size, value. mate. Good yeah. value, yeah. Bang for your buck. Lies, he's just got himself the big daddy there. Maiden voyage, first run. All right, we're on. Camp is all set up. We'll give you a look around. We've got the boat over there, swag there, a couple of chairs, fire pit, awnings out. D-Max, Lodge's new swag. Look where we're perched up on. What do you got in store for us there, mate? Not much? Not much, eh? Yeah. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. All we're doing now is just going to get the fire going. We'll get into dinner shortly. We're just going to enjoy that sunset. Chill out for a bit. Take it real easy tonight. We'll probably stay up fairly late-ish. Got a bit of catching ups to do. And then yeah, as long as we're in the water by 8 a.m. or something, we'll be happy as. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, not me axe. Ain't that a beautiful sunset? So we're now mid mid to late April, so campfires are allowed which is happy days for us this camping is definitely not the same without it lay down good boy 
boy. Ah, lie down. Good boy. So pretty standard dinner selection tonight as we normally have. We got the $10.98 rump steak special from Woolworths and a sweet potato here. Now I've never actually done sweet potatoes on the coals, but we're gonna wrap these up with a bit of butter, spike them, salt and pepper. Alright, sweet potatoes are off the fire. Let's have a look. Let's see if this works because I don't actually know. They feel well cooked. That should be nice and soft. There we go. There's a nice hot little sweet potato. Alright, that's all sweet, but because we're only rolling with small plates here, pretty much when these steaks are done, which is probably right now, we can cut these up on here. So they actually fit on the plate, so we'll have a look like that. Right, it's a pretty blokey dinner right there, but it's gonna do the job. We out of it, mate. So we're probably gonna tuck into this now, chill out. Elmira, get here! Get here! Is she chasing something? She must have been no. Anyway, we're gonna eat this now. I'll show you Lodgy. Lodgy's over there enjoying his beer. So we've got the fire. It's all happening. The dogs are running a mark. We'll rip into that. So I don't think we're gonna film much else tonight. We're just gonna take it easy and just enjoy the moment together. Have a bit of bro time and then we'll see us in the morning. We'll get down the beach and we'll get fishing. Okay, so that's everything packed up now. Boom, boom, boom. Looking good, looking good. Lodgy's sorting out a bit of tack over here. So we're gonna cruise on down the beach now. We'll go drop the boat in. We'll head out there and get some fish. Got the boat in tow behind us. Lodgy's zinking up. Awesome part about Ledge Point here is you can just let your dogs off. They just run it in front of the car. So I'm just going to wear them out a bit and then when we pull up to launch the boat they're just going to stay in the crate for about three hours while we go out to fish and then hopefully they'll drain a bit of energy out of them, give them a drink of water and we'll get back in before the sun's too high in the sky and it gets a bit hot in there but there's heaps of airflow and stuff so they'll, they'll love life but we're not far away now so looking forward to it. I'm absolutely spewing. My windscreen that normally lives up there has come off at some stage while we've been driving so I'm going to have to look for that later but Hopefully we get rewarded with a good fish for the sacrifice we made there. So we'll get this in the drink now. Almost forgot ya. Right there for us. Right, I love beach launching with Elijah. He's good, real handy to get out there. Anyway, we're in the water now. That's the important part. D Max is parked up over there. We got everything. So we're just gonna head out for about three hours now. See if we can find a Dewey. That's the aim of the game for today. First fish of the day. Oh, trying to take a good line. Could be one for the dinner plate, this one. I've got size eight circle hooks on. So hopefully it's pretty well hooked. 20, 22 meters water. I reckon this is a dewy. So it's trying to take a little bit of line, but it's not fighting overly hard. So it might be on for a small, small dew. Let's have a look. On here. 
whatever it is, I hope it's something in the play. Small Dewey. Bring it around, yeah. I think this one's gonna have to be released though. Bro, might be size. There you have it. Nice Western Australian Jewfish, first one of the day. This one's 52 centimeters, so it's in. It's a keeper. So we're going to keep this one. He'll be coming home tonight for dinner. Then we'll get back down. We're allowed one more, so that's me done with Jewies. Elijah can catch one now and keep that. Uh, so happy days. At least we got the target fish. We just need to upsize and try to get the bigger ones going, but very, very happy with that. All right guys, so we've been out here for about two and a half hours now chasing Jews. We've just been targeting Jews pretty much specifically, stick, sticking with big hooks, uh, big baits, hoping to get a big fish, but we've only managed to come up with that one small Jew, which was still legal, so I've kept that, but no, no big dogs to show you today. So we're gonna shoot back in now, call it a day for the fishing, but if you stick around, you'll see us try to do this beach retrieval with the boat as well, which is always interesting to see how they go anything can go wrong beach launching and retrieving. There, mate. <laughs> hey, you've been hanging out for that one for a few hours, haven't you? Hence your rig up for a strike. Come on. Back on land now. Got the boat hitched up. Elijah's in the boat at the moment. We're just gonna drive up to the car park here, put the tires back up, sort the boat out, sort the dogs out, grab a little bit for lunch, and then head back down to Perth. So, and all the fishing was a bit slow, but it's been a nice day. The wind's been chopping and changing a bit throughout the day, so it would go from nice to a bit, to a bit how you're going, and then back to fairly nice again. But you don't want to risk getting caught out in those little windows here if you do get a bit cocky heading out. So we played it fairly safe. We didn't really check out too much new ground sort of thing. So next time we come back here, we'll probably come back without the dogs and then just bang out straight away to a couple of points that we're gonna pick out. And then hopefully they pay off a little better, but one dew is better than no dew is. So we've got half the job done and there's always next time.